Hello and welcome to the first walkthrough of this video series. In this video, uh, we will integrate in real time SAP ECC and Salesforce with the help of AppC Connect. Uh, this is the Salesforce UI. Let's go ahead and see uh, how many accounts are there or have been created this week. So as you can see, there are no records for new accounts this week. So let's go ahead and uh, transfer the customer details and accounts from SAP ECC. So let's just click that. Now when you click the refresh button, you can actually see that it has been transferred. An account name called Berkler Berlin. Now let's go to the products. The products that we are dealing with today is casing. As you can see, there is nothing called casing in the product name, recent products. So let's go to the catalog, product catalog in uh, SAP and uh, let's just transfer that. When we put the refresh button, we can actually see that the product named casing has come up. This is the product name. And as you can see, the standard price has been updated in this product. So now let's do an order for the product. So basically for, pro for orders, you have to go to contracts in Salesforce. New contract. Let's put an account name to that. Let's start it. Let's say that the tenure is contract term is 12 months. So the contract has been created. Let's go and order it. The same account number. The contract name is the one we saved right now. Let the order time be sales order and save it. So an order has been created. Let's now add the product. So create a price book casing and select it. Let's say the quantity we require is three and save it. So now the order has been created. As you can see the, there is no SAP order number or sync flag in this sync flag as N means no. Okay. So this is where uh, we need an agent called uh, app C connect. This is the app C connect agent. So basically uh, this is from Salesforce to SAP ECC and back. So the transaction data sync can be done in two types like one manual and auto. For this demo version, I'll be showing you the manual, how to do it manually. And I just clicked on the sync button. So this is undergoing the process of syncing and it has been done. Now when we refresh the browser, we can actually see that the sync flag is Y that is yes and the SAP order number has been created. So let's just go ahead and copy the SAP order into the sales order, display sales order in SAP. So if we put the order and type search, we can actually see that everything has been updated here. I thank you for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed the session.